Good morning and g'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, JD, and of course we have the wonderful Mr. Icarus with us today, and today we're continuing on with our quest to try and get, try and get all the components, all the components of the uh, Gravity Matrix done. Uh, last episode, we, we, we took a side detour, we took a side detour and we went and got the super magnetic rings after getting the electromagnetic turbines up and running because the turbines happen to go into magnetic rings. Um, and we need man magnetic rings for a couple of things, but we needed the electromagnetic turbines to get the particle containers, to get strange matter, to get graviton lenses, to get green science. Yes, yes. So uh, today's episode, we're going to do the particle container. Now, particle container is an interesting item. It's an interesting item that's going to give us a couple of problems. Let's just start with one of these here. So to make a particle container, we need to bring in, obviously, the electromagnetic turbines that we, we played with, with previously. On top of that, we're going to have to bring in some copper. On top of that, we're going to have to bring in graphene, which we're not going to bring in graphene. We're going to bring in fire ice, which is then going to have a waste product of hydrogen. Which means I don't have any way to put warpers in or out of this tower. So, uh, straight away, we're going to need two towers. Um, to complicate things even further, because we only made one belt of electromagnetic turbines, which, don't get me wrong, that's that's plenty. That's that's really all we need. Uh, that's going to give us a half a belt uh Yes, half a belt of the particle containers, but it means for half a belt of particle containers, I need to bring in one belt worth of turbines, one belt worth of copper, one belt worth of fire ice, and I'm going to have a half a belt worth of waste products of hydrogen, which is, you know, 30, 60, 90, what's that, 105? 105 out of our 120, so we're well, well, well and truly under our, our, our cap limit for our one tower. But I just still don't have warpers. So what I've decided to do is rather make half a belt's worth, which is all we could make with our electromagnetic make with the available electromagnetic turbines, I'm gonna do a whole belt's worth. It means technically we can't run at full speed, technically we can only run at half speed, but it also means that in theory, if I wanted to double the output, this production part at least would already be set up, ready to be done, uh, yeah, ready to go. Also, the particle container does get used in a couple of side pro uh, products. Products. Uh, one is the planetary logistics station. Two is the annihilation constraint sphere. The annihilation constraint sphere is, of course, used in the antimatter fuel rod, and you're probably going to want a few of those. It's also used in uh, not only the planetary logistics, but the interstellar logistics, and also energy exchanges. So, depending on your playstyle, you may want to have a lot of spare particle containers. So, with all that out of the way, we're going to have two towers. First one is going to do... Vein Utilization 28, yep, okay. First one is going to do uh, just the turbines and the copper, along with some warpers. And the second one is going to do, well, well, uh, the fire ice. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start playing with the fire ice, uh, because they involve chemical plants. And first thing I want to do is I want to find out what point on the planet can I build where these go as close to one another as possible. That would be my answer. So, we're going to need... Uh, I'm going to need 30 of these guys. So, we're going to set up our first lot, uh, which is going to use the fire ice recipe. Uh, you can just... Uh, okay, so we've picked that up. We're now going to destroy that. I'm going to put it... Here. I'm going to remove one from the front and put it at the rear. We're also running very, very, oh, very, very close to our, our hub. Our hub is, um, like, right behind us, literally. Uh, we've, we've built all the way around the planet, which means this is going to be our last episode on Black Box number three. After this episode, we're going to move to Black Box number one. We're going to move planets. Okay, so that's going to be our first chemical plant. One, two, three, tile gap. That's going to be our second row of chemical plants. Um... And they're going to require a input of fire ice, a output of hydrogen, and an output of graphene. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, that, that means that's the closest. Okay, that one, that one, that one. So then you output graphene, you output 
I can eat input uh, fire eyes, and then we're going to drag those two to there, and then pop that in there, and we're going to try this. So if I select everything there, yeah, and I say no belts, and I hit paste, in theory we can do this, no. Copy everything from there to there, with no belts, paste. You're now not going to work because the power pole's already there. Yeah, the devs really need a, like, like place it anyway button. Uh, or just accept that each time you're building over something, it just... Ooh, that's not going to work because I don't have belts down there. Okay, uh, let's bring that up, that down, that down. We're going to paste there. Uh, hit the plus button. There and there. It sort of works. Like, the blueprinting... This is the problem with the blueprinting system. I've said it before, I'm sure I have. That it works. It's just a little bit clunky for individual little bits and pieces. Uh, okay, so. We're going to bring that belt up there. And then I'm going to I'm gonna start doing this uh, on... At least when I remember. Uh, we're going to mark these belts. So you're going to be graphing... You're going to be Hydrogen, and you're going to be Fyrus. Okay, so that's our first step. Go away. Alright, first step is we have 30 chemical plants. We need 60, but we have 30, so we have a start. Next thing we're going to need is some assemblers. Uh, the assemblers are going to be... I need 80. 1, 2, 3, 4... Four, five. So my plan is to make these guys. Oh, oh. Uh, my plan is change already. Okay. My plan is we're gonna bring in two raw materials. Uh, one. Uh, then we're going to put in one of those. This is all subject to change. Things might get moved around. Uh, actually, can we turn off that and that? Thank you. No. That one. There we go. Uh, set that up. So that's 15. That's 20. Alright, so we have 20 of those. Uh, we're going to bring in two materials on this side. Uh, we might as well call them both copper and uh, copper and electromagnetic turbines. Okay, and then we're going to bring the graphene belt up here, along with an output belt, which will conveniently go straight into that tower. And then we're going to get another row of these guys, another, another row of 20, which will give it, get us to 40, which would be half our build. Uh, okay, so I want you... I want you there. No. No. Yes, no. No, because you're also going to need copper and turbines. Okay. Then that side can share copper and turbines. It's going to have an output belt, an input belt for graphene. So let's just mark these. Uh, we're going to call you... No, you are going to be... Graphene, you are going to be uh, particle containers, you're going to be copper and electromagnets, you're going to be output, you're going to be graphene. Uh, so then we do that again. Yep. And then we do two more inputs one for copper. One for electromagnetic turbines. Okay. Hang 
Okay, let's square some things up. Okay, so pick you up. You're gonna go... It doesn't really matter. We'll call that there. Okay. So you're... Copper is on the left. So we're gonna grab belt. You're gonna be copper. You're gonna be turbines. You're... Too long. You're gonna be return belt. You're... Hang on. Um, you're gonna be return belt. You're gonna be... Uh, I'm gonna assume copper. And you're gonna be turbines. Okay, so straight away we can see we can steal uh, at least a couple of tiles right here. So, before I get too carried away, uh, let's pick that up, remove that, remove that, remove that, uh, drop it down a tile, line that back up, that back up. Uh, nope, you're an input. You're going to be, I'm assuming, my copper, and I'm going to assume your turbines. I could be completely wrong. Uh, you're going to be an input. You're going to be a copper. And you're that one. Okay, so let's just go through what we've got so far. Uh... We have no markers on this belt. Cool. That means whatever I did up there is definitely correct. Uh, it was copper first, turbine second. Okay, so you're going to be copper. You're going to be turbine. Okay. And you're, just, just to make everything different, you're turbine followed by copper. Is that what I've got up here? It is, actually. Okay. So, what we've done is we've brought down... Uh, so, we have a total of two belts... Uh, two belts worth of oh, 60 items per second. 60 items per second worth of turbines along with 60 items per second of copper ingots and 60 uh, items per, per second of the uh, graphene, okay? So we've split up from this end because it's easy to do it from this end. We've split up the copper and the turbines, okay? And we've got a belt coming down here which will feed the ones on the left. We have this belt coming down the middle, which will feed both these sets. We have a belt coming down the right-hand side that will feed, obviously, the right-hand side. Plus, we have our graphene. Uh, we've only built one side of the graphene so far, but one side of the graphene is going to come up here, and it's going to feed all this left-hand side. And then we'll do another graphene build. Oh, actually, let's just... Actually... Blueprints. No, it's got to be reversed. Yeah, it's got to be reversed. Okay, all right, so. Oh, God, talk about lining things up. Please tell me that's straight. Oh, talk about lining things up. So we've brought out the chemical plant plants as far forward as we can. So, you know, you don't waste any tiles. Uh, we'll drag you down... 15. Yeah, you don't have any sorters, but that's fine because you're going to be an output for graphene. You're going to be output for hydrogen, and you're going to be input for fire ice. And then we're going to put down another set of 15 on that side. Okay, so let's just do these sorters. Input, output, 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 input. Okay, and we're just going to drag them down because that seemed way easier than trying to fiddle with blueprints. Actually, no, let's try fiddling with blueprints once more. Okay, so if I put a power pole, I can't put a power pole on that side, I'm going to have to put it on that side. I'm going to drag that to there, I'm going to drag that to there, I'm going to hit the copy button. I select everything from there to there, including including that sorter, please. Alright, 12 sorters. We're going to say no belts and hit the paste button. We're going to... No, we can't place it there. So we're going to put our first one there. We're going to drag. Hit the plus button so it lines up. 
Yeah, that's not super painful. Did it save me a bunch of time? I don't really know. Probably not. Okay, uh, we're gonna put another tower here, line up with the copper, uh, which is gonna be a hydro no, hydrogen. Yeah, return. Uh, you're gonna be a graphene into there. I can't get one closer. No, that's gonna be a hydrogen return as well. That's going to be item number one, which will end up being fire ice out. That'll be fire ice out, which I forgot to filter. Uh, we're going to put in fire ice and hydrogen. Yes, swinging your mouse around that fast does definitely help you find things quicker. Come on, 100. There we go. All right, so we have fire ice and fire ice. So we're bringing out two belts worth of fire ice, being 60 items per second. They are coming up here apart from that guy on the end, who also needs his own very special power pole. I forgot the power pole for him. Uh, bringing that up here, turning a belt of fire ice into a belt of graphene. The belt of graphene is going to come down, and it's going to come intentionally... Cool. Worst flight ever. Uh, intentionally, it's going to... Ooh, that's not what I wanted. That one. Intentionally, it's going to come into this belt and this belt because these are shared down the middle, which means we just simplified all our uh, belt shenanigans. Okay, so that, that, uh, you're going to have an output, input, output, input. You're going to go input, 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 output, input, output. Input, input. Okay, so it should be as easy as find a nice spot and in roughly the center to, sta to stand. Drag that up. Drag that up. Drag that up. Drag that up. Uh, let's grab it again. Drag that to there. That to there. That to there. And that to there. That should be the build done, you know, apart from the whole uh, flashy, flashy of no power, uh, which should be. So, chemical plants are powered. Uh, we're going to start down here at this end. Now, chemical plants had a power pole here, so the top row of its sorters are all covered. But here, the power pole's on the far side, so the sorters are not covered. So, we're going to put one power pole there and one there. And that also makes sure that tower is covered. And we should be able to get one here and here. And then here and here. No, no, you failed me. Okay, let's move that upper tile. That upper tile. Very good, so we're still cooking. Uh, there and there. And then there and there. And then there, and there. Okay, so I call that a done build. Now, to confirm that it works, we're going to uh, set that to max, set that to minimum, set that, whoop, that to maximum. We're going to put in ships and ships. We're going to set the warpers to be 100. We're going to say local demand, remote supply. We're going to definitely add a power pole so it's at least hooked into the network, uh, which will start that charging. And then we're going to go... Local demand, remote demand. We have a whole bunch of them locally. Actually, we'll just leave you for a second. We'll set you, we'll set you, we'll set you. We're going to say local demand, remote supply. Uh, helps if maybe you have ship fees. There's no warpers? How can there be no warpers on this planet? You're bringing a foul. Oh, gosh. Warpers. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just because we're only requesting it a hundred at a time. Uh, okay. So you've got yours on the way. All right. So we should be a case of yeah, remote demand, local demand. Really? Shippies. Where are you getting copper from? You shouldn't get copper on this planet. Well. 
That's a mistake. Okay, glad we sorted that mistake out. Okay, uh, remote demand. Okay, and then this side, uh, remote local. It won't find it locally, but we'll find it remotely. Okay, so that should get us uh, both copper and the electromagnetic turbines. Bring them in. That should be easy enough. Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot about shortening some belts. Uh, first off, that belt doesn't actually do anything. That was just a. Oh my gosh, we got things so neat. Uh, yeah. I guess you go through to that tile. Okay. What a time for an autosave. Uh, speaking of autosaves, if we bring up this and. It says only six seconds? Hang on, let's try it. That feels way longer than six seconds. It says six seconds saving, but it feels way longer. Uh, I don't know. You guys were watching. You, you can you can look at the time code when the save start, when the save finish. But my gosh, it feels so much longer. Okay, so that should be. We're just literally waiting for the fire ice to get here. Uh, you're set. You're set. You have all ten ships out getting fire ice. Uh, you're at least having copper pushed from the other end, along with. Uh, these ships are going out and getting it, so copper's going to fill up way quicker than fire ice. Because fire ice, of course, comes from our gas giants, or our ice giants, rather. Which means, you know, these ships have got to go get it. So, it's whatever the flight time is from here. That ship, that ship, that ship, that ship, that ship. Uh, that a direction. God, that didn't help. Magna. Is Magna really our closest fire ice? See, I would thought Noop. Okay, so Noop is. Which we haven't spoken about, which we will speak about uh, in a future video. Eight, that's 15 light, light years. Okay, I don't know why it's going. Like, you assume they go to the closest. Guess not. Okay, so we have all of you guys are definitely producing. Well. If the fire ice actually got far enough up the belt. Uh, all you guys are definitely producing um, graphene. Or graph, graph, graph. Crap. Graphene. Yes, graphene. Okay, graphene is coming down here on the marked belts. Because we marked some belts for a change. I guess we should also mark this side. Just to, you know, symmetry. Uh, I really wish there was a way to just, just, like, shift click. Shift click. To just whatever's on the belt just auto mark it for whatever's already on the belt it just it would save clicks and that's really with these games saving every click really really matters and really really adds up over time okay so you're bringing in your your two items from the north tower plus you're bringing in your graphene which is you know being made on site looped around and all the way back we can see that all these guys are running the only ones with missing little yellow things are right here up at the end because you're waiting on graphene yeah you're waiting on graphene so graphene's getting here very very slowly but then again the copies and paste their friends which means they're guaranteed to work. So, with all that said and done, all we need to do is come from here to, actually, before I give the blueprint to you guys, uh, I need to change that and that and that and that. Uh, I leave the warpers, we go to that one, we change that one and that one. I have no idea what, what's going to happen to the ships that are already out there. I guess they're going to fly, fly all the way back, drop back their fire ice, and then... Uh, come back again, uh, empty-handed. Okay, so we're going to call this, uh, what is it? Particle containers. Uh, no, black box at the end. Uh, start. Yes, part of, particle containers. Okay, that to that to that to that. Uh, Jetty's notes are, it is uh, May 30. From the no, from sixty turbines, sixty turbines, uh, sixty copper, and sixty fire eyes per second. Okay. Uh, oh, back on top. Save blueprint. Okay, so black box particle containers are now done, and we're 25 minutes in the episode. The catch is uh, the next on our list is Strange Matter. 
because we've got particle containers now, we're gonna go on a strange map. Oh, 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 actually, actually, two things. Okay, so first off, Blueprint is, Blueprint is now available on Discord. If you wanna grab the Blueprint, by all means, head over to Discord, link is on your screen, down in the description, uh, down in the, both the description and the very first pinned comment as well. Um, so you can always go over there and grab, helps if I actually set these back up. Um, grab the Blueprints, use the Blueprints, abuse the Blueprints, paste the Blueprints everywhere. Um, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so uh, same time if you if you do grab the blueprints or just enjoy the video Give me a like I very very much appreciate it also helps the video out feeding that YouTube algorithm So with those things out of the way, let's talk about a couple of things a couple of things before somebody gets down there and starts banging away in the comment section Why didn't I use this particular recipe? Why didn't I use the uh, advanced? recipe um, because it uses the unipolar magnets okay so we would have uh rather than bringing in two copper uh well we'd still bring in two copper so the copper half would be unchanged except we'd bring in 10 unipolar magnets so after i'd have to check i think it's after about 10 machines okay we'd have to get a new belt of unipolar magnets okay and then a new belt worth of unipolar magnets, and a new belt worth of unipolar magnets. And it means that it would probably end up being one tower, much simpler recipe to do half a belt's worth of particle containers. Um, in saying that, if you look at this build here and we just said, you know, half of it, the build's not that big and space is one of those things that, in Dyson Sphere, space is not really limited because there's a lot of space in space. Yep, yep. Um, so that's something to consider. The other thing is unipolar magnets run out. Okay, uh, you only find unipolar magnets if we zoom back out again around two different stars. Okay, they are. If we hang on, let's start off an attacker system. I don't really want to zoom in on attacker system. I just want to center. So we find them around a black hole and a neutron star. Now, I intentionally set up my playthrough to make sure that my black hole and my neutron star were as far away from spawn as possible, okay? So, it meant that, you know, there was a good amount of supply. I think unipolar magnets, I've got one patch, so unipolar magnets around the Mr. J system, uh, both black holes and neutron stars tend to have just one planet. So I have one planet which has one lot of unipolar magnets, one, 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 one patch, one stack of veins. And they are, they do have 12 million, uh, 12 million unipolar magnets there, okay? So there is a good amount of supply, but, that means that there's roughly only 24 million in my whole galaxy compared to, well, um, yeah, this, this, this system has like lots, like, like stone, useless resource, 24 million, not an issue. Um, in fact, titanium, I've got 25 million on this planet. We've buried most of that because we just don't care about it. I'll bring that back up. Uh... There's copper we've buried. There's there's two million titanium. Another two million titanium. Another two million titanium. I just buried it. I just don't care. Um, because, you know, the, the, the building space was more important to me in this particular case. But having 24 million for a whole plan, uh, for, for your whole playthrough is not a lot. In saying that, if I got unlucky, which I have done on a previous playthrough, okay, I, I did have on a previous playthrough, if we go back to my home system, I had my uh, black hole and my neutron star not within the six light year radius, but within about the eight light year radius, which meant rather than having 12 million, I had one million for my whole playthrough on one of my planets. I think the other planet had like five million. And it does not last long. So rather than having a, a rather than using the advanced recipe, okay, with a rare resource that that is actually very, very rare, very, very hard to get, and non-renewable, obviously, once it's mined, it's gone. We went with the basic recipe that does require a lot more steps, a lot more components. But if you've got blueprints, is it really that hard? Like, I think the hardest thing I have to do now is uh, make sure I have plenty of battery and plenty of production in my hub to keep up with the rate that I can and will be blueprinting things down. Yes. 
that's probably the hardest thing I have currently. Anyway, with all that said, uh, I've wafted on for more than long enough. Uh, we're going to end this episode here because next episode, as I said, is Strange Matter, which is going to require a whole bunch of particle, uh, particle gliders. Um, I think think of these like 60 of them uh and there is no way i have enough time to do that in this episode i also definitely do not have enough room on this planet um so we're gonna be leaving black box three we're gonna leave this uh, system here we're gonna move on to our very very next system probably black box number one uh one volcanic ash yeah it's good it's a fairly whitish planet um the other one is a desert and I'm not in the mood for a desert just yet. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, as always, uh, thank you guys for, for watching. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. And tell your mum that Jetty and Icarus said, G'day, mate. How's she doing? All right, that's it. We're out. Bye.